Now I'm going to go over how to add your Google Home devices into the Devices tab on a Samsung device that's located in the Notification Shade. So first, let me just go and show you what it looks like when it's all said and done. So swipe down um, from the Notifications to get to Devices. And you can see here I have some of my devices set up and I can go ahead um, and adjust the lights in different rooms. You can see I just did that or individual rooms or turn them off or back on um, if I want to. Now these are all devices that I have linked up in my Google Home app. So do make sure you've done that already. But when you first go here, um, it probably will default to Samsung's uh, things, smart things, I think is what they call. That's their kind of smart home devices and stuff like that. But if you have stuff in Google Home and that's what you're using, you can also switch it to that. And to do so, while you're in this devices tab here, you're going to want to select the three dots in the top right hand corner, manage apps and add the Google Home app or turn it on because it should show up here. And once you've done that, you can actually then tap on it and it's going to pull up all of the devices you have linked in your Google Home account. Okay, so you can go ahead and select any of these devices. Um, you'll see we have the groups up here, so the family room lights and the kitchen lights and things like that. Um, it's also grouped by individual rooms if you scroll down even more and you have, you know, your lights, your smart thermostats and whatever you have connected. So you can add whatever you want that's in here to the devices tab or remove anything like the all lights one. Um, I can remove or add, um, outlets, things like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add this thermostat. So now that thermostat is added, and again, make sure you add everything that you want, and then go back, and then back once more, and you'll see all the devices are here, and the new one we added is also here, the entryway thermostat. Now if you wanna reorganize these tiles so they're in a different order, you can do that as well. So if you tap and hold, you can just drag, just like you're adjusting apps on your home screen. And if you select a thermostat, you can go ahead and it brings up the adjustment controls and things like that. You can even tap the uh, right corner here with the little box with the arrow and it'll take you straight into the Google Home app. Now let's go back into devices. And again, you can do that with kind of any of them. You can just adjust them from here by sliding that'll brighten them, the lights, you drag that slider lower, it dims them, tapping it will bring up the menu here. Um, but if you just tap the circle in the top right hand corner for the lights here, um, it'll just turn them on and off. But again, if you tap the actual square, it'll bring up the full fledged kind of menu here. Now, if you want to be able to adjust to these controls, even when your phone is locked, you have to make sure you turn on that setting as well. And to do that, you do it from the same page we're on here now, tap the three dots, go to settings, and make sure you turn this on. It's off by default. Make sure you go turn it on so you can still adjust these things from the home screen, or sorry, so you can adjust these things from the lock screen. Uh, if you want to, if you want to adjust these without having to unlock your phone. So that's how you can go ahead and get your uh, Google Home devices uh, that you have connected through the Home app on to the Devices tab on a Samsung phone. Again, remember, you got to have the Home app installed and set up and everything added to it before you can go and do this. But hopefully this video helps, and if it does, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one on how to make your technology work better for you. Thanks.